Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Manya and in this video I'm going to show you how I am upcycling slash thrift flipping slash making a lot of the clothes that have been sitting in the back of my closet for a very long time fit a lot better. This is a video for beginner sewers. I'm a beginner sewer as well. I'm happy every time I can sew a straight line. I do happy dance. But I hope that you will enjoy this video and learn something from it. Have fun watching. We're going to get right into it. I guess this is kind of a thrift haul slash thrift flip because I've never shown any of the things that I'm showing right now. And yes, I'm wearing socks because I'm inside and it's quarantine life right now. There's nothing wrong with the pants. They're a pair of um, vintage fit mom jeans. I got them in the men's section. These are too long. As you see, I've cuffed them. I've worn them a couple of times cuffed. It's okay, but it's not what I prefer. I am going to crop these, but I'm not going to cut them. And I also don't want to cut them and then fold the hem and then sew it down. You know how jeans have like this actual hem, like the, it's kind of roughed up a little bit and it's a little bit thicker. And this is what I really like about those and I want to keep it. So in order to make that happen, the first step is to determine how short you want your jeans to be. I cuff them and put a pin into them. By the way, I think I didn't even mention that these jeans are a pair of vintage Levi's pants. Okay, moving on. Next, you want to measure how much you want to crop in total, and then divide that number by 2. I needed the jeans to be 6cm shorter, so I folded the hem up and made sure that that fold measured 3cm. Pin the fold all around and then sew it down exactly right next to the seam. I took it a little slow because I was pretty scared I would mess it up otherwise. Once that is done, fold down the cuff and voila! To make sure it will all lay nice and flat, you should top stitch this part down and you have to sew very close to the fold to make it look neat. This is what it will look like in the end. And you're done! I love how these turned out so much. The hem looks so nice. You can only see from up close that it has been sewn and I'm so glad I could keep the original seam. I'm so, so happy with that. I decided to pair these with a pair of Tommy Hilfiger loafers and some vintage jewelry that I had at home. And yeah, such a cool look. I'm so happy with these. Definitely going to be one of my new favorite pairs of denim. So these are a pair of possibly, very likely, old man's corduroys that I got at the flea market here in Germany for 2 euros. Same thing, they are too long. This time I'm gonna cut them off and just fold the hem and sew it down so that it looks nice and neat and then I hope that they're gonna look good and make me not want to hunt down secondhand Levi's ribcage corduroys. I used the pin again to mark how much I wanted to crop these pants. I liked the look of the original hem so I measured how wide that was. The hem was exactly one inch so I made sure to take that into consideration. I cut off the fabric adding about 1.5 inches as seam allowance. Then I turned the pants inside out and folded the hem. I folded it in about half an inch and then I folded again using 1 inch. And now just sew that down using a straight stitch. Look it, all done. I think I just made my own Levi's ribcage corduroys. Don't they look so much like the ribcage one? They just cost me two euros. I'm so happy and they just turned out exactly how I envisioned them, how I wanted them. I've been wanting a pair for two years and I have never found one secondhand. I did pair them with a really old um, vintage style tee from, that is knitted from H&M that I still got when I shopped there and my Converse, my white high tops that I just got not too long ago from Uboop. 
I'm loving this thing. A blouse that I thrifted quite a long time ago for one euro. I really love the embroidery. It's like this typical 70s hippie embroidery thing here and in the back. What I don't like about it is the length. It's super long. This is where my waist is. So it's so long I can't really tuck it into jeans and it looks kind of weird worn like this. And I'm definitely going to shorten it. And the sleeves also look a little bit old fashioned like this part. So I'm going to take that off. This is the part where I'm supposed to tell you to unpick the seam and take off that weird ruffle. But I soon realized that someone sewed this ruffle down using like four seams and it would take hours using my seam wrapper to get it off. So I just decided to cut it off. It looks completely fine now, but I might just go back in sometime with a zigzag stitch to make sure it won't unravel. Obviously, I used my trusty pin again to determine how short I wanted it to be. That seemed like a good length. I pinned the two sides of the blouse together to make sure my cut would be even and then I cut it leaving about an inch or so of seam allowance. I didn't film this part but I didn't just fold the hem before sewing it but I also ironed it flat to make it stay put a lot better while sewing. I really recommend that when working with thinner fabric. I used to skip the step and messed up so many hems in the past and then I would just walk around with wonky hems because back then I apparently didn't care. I think I just made two big fundamental mistakes that I should not have made. Mistake number one being that I cropped this too short so I can't really tuck it into my pants anymore. Big mistake number two. I kind of did not look at the complete construction of the garment, especially not the side view. The front is okay. This is horrible. I'm not sure if it comes off on camera as bad as it does in real life. I look like a mushroom. <laughs> to make sure I didn't look like a mushroom anymore, I first had to completely unpick the hem I had just sewn down before. Fun times. Then I pinned down the sides of the shirt, wearing it inside out to make it more fitted. Don't make it too tight though, you still want to be able to take it off. I used a pen to mark the line I had to sew and went for it. Make sure to cut off the excess fabric on the sides. And um, yeah, the next step is sewing down the hem again. At least that's the next step in my case. If you were to make that, you probably will only sew down the hem once. Yeah, so much for not wanting to make a crop top. Look at my crop top. I really like how this turned out though. I really like the length. It's the perfect length for me. I wear a lot of high-waisted pants and denim and skirts and it just has like a good length for it and sometimes it's nice to not always have to tuck in your shirts so i guess that's a good thing that it ended up like this it just looks a lot more modern and fresh this way in this outfit i just paired it with my levi's that i just cropped and showed you and a pair of vintage earrings that i picked up here at a thrift store and my adidas continentals that i also got secondhand if you love thrifting, make sure to check out my last video, which was an actual thrift with me at an actual thrift store. If you are not subscribed already, I appreciate it if you did that. Have a great day. I will see you in my next video. Bye!